Hello, my awesome Cappies. I miss you guys so much. Hope you're doing wonderful. Cappies, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you in your life, Cappies, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey and your spiritual journey. Very important, right? Then, second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Especially in relation to you, Cappies. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn. For Capricorn's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Capricorn in their life. And how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Capricorn in the life? And how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Ooh, this one wants to show up very strongly as extra message. Oh, Cappies. Oh, Cappies. There's some kind of chaos brewing for you, uh, whether it's at work or in the family or in... Uh, in a circle of friends, wherever it is, there's something going on that's brewing between different people where people are going to try to drag you into the drama. Yeah, you see the people are going to try to drag you into the drama dispute. The best way to deal with other people's disputes is not to get involved. That dispute is in their life for a reason to teach them something. So the best way to deal with it is to not get involved. Let them resolve their own drama. Yeah, to stay neutral. Yeah. But people are going to try to drag you into the drama and you're going to have to defend yourself. Maybe they're going to be gossiping. Whatever it is, this usually represents people gossiping, disagreeing, arguing, blaming each other, blaming others. You see? Do you see the way this is painted? Yeah. So you, you're going to feel like if you if this hasn't happened already, it's going to happen where you're going to feel like you're going to have to defend yourself. You have a lot of wisdom, Cappies. Beautiful. You are very grounded. You have a lot of wisdom. You see, you see very clearly what's going on around you. You're going to make the right decision. You see, so somebody's going to try to drag you into whatever they're dealing with. Uh, you're going to see very clearly how to get out of it correctly, what to do, how to handle this situation for your highest good, because the sun is present. But there are some things hidden from you by whoever these people are, whether it's in a neighborhood or family or at work, business, uh, with your friends, whoever it is. Uh, for some people, it's family. For some people, it's at work. So you know your own situation some things will be hidden from you, but you, with time, you will see clearly how to proceed correctly, how to escape from this situation with the least amount of emotional damage. Wow, look how beautiful your energy is. You're very grounded. Look how beautiful your energy is, whether you're male or female. This is beautiful. You are very grounded. You are perceptive. Yeah, beautiful. You have wisdom. You have great intuition. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappies and how is Capricorn currently doing on their summit journey. Yeah, you see, be careful because this stands for deceit. So whoever these people are that either are already causing you drama or are about to, uh, you see, there's deceit. Be careful. Do not, the universe is warning you, do not get involved in their drama stay away from their drama because this stands for deceit you're just gonna suffer emotionally greatly if you're gonna try to take sides do not get involved that's the best way of dealing with other people's drama that drama is in their life for a reason to teach them important lessons you cannot save them from that drama you're just gonna suffer uh, consequences if you uh get involved so you're going to see very clearly how to get out of that crazy situation you see this is deceit be very careful hmm this combination shows me that those people uh will be lying changing the facts 
according to what's important to them. Yeah, so you're going to see very clearly who you can and cannot trust. Wow, this is you, self-love, you see? This is you knowing that you love yourself enough to walk away from toxic people, situations, relationships of all sorts. Yeah. Wow. Love offer showing up here on the horizon for you. You're going to make the right decision for yourself. This is to do with love. New love offer showing up here. New love, you see. This is you meeting new soulmates, you see, because you meant to meet them. What you're going to do with them will be up to your free will. But this is you meeting new soulmates. You see, it's meant for you to meet them. You're supposed to meet each other again in this lifetime. You see, you know the new soulmates that are coming towards you. You knew, you know new soul, these new soulmates from other lifetimes, obviously, right? Yeah. Ugh. Look at this. Look at this hot mess over here. You see, twice. So you're going to make the right decision. You're going to avoid uh, this toxic situation. You see, you're going to see very clearly in due time how to not be dragged into someone's toxic self-created drama that's the best way to avoid other people's self-created drama uh, not to get involved stay neutral don't take sides yeah that's the best way Ugh, somebody's spying on you so there's somebody in this circle of people that is spying on you, trying to deceive you, because this stands for deceit, and this stands for spycraft. So somebody's trying to uh, drag you into this drama and blame you for something that you're not to be blamed for. But remember, uh, karma will catch up with them. So yeah, when people try to do that, uh, they just create karma for themselves, which they're going to have to balance, right? Yeah. You have wisdom, no doubt. You have wisdom. You see, you're going to see very clearly. So this is you being silent, not getting involved in this drama. You see, this is you keeping to yourself, minding your own business. Yeah, good for you. Sometimes you feel so alone, so greatly misunderstood by many people. Yeah, because you have high vibration energy. And most people, uh, you see, they're showing up here as toxic, sneaky. So, yeah, you're going to feel alone. You're going to feel alone because you belong with high vibration people that match your vibration. Look how strong you are. You're going to win this. Yeah. The truth will be exposed, will be revealed. Yeah. Whoever's trying to frame you for something or lie about you, the truth will be exposed. You see, just keep doing the right things. This is you being strong, resilient. Yeah fighting for yourself, not allowing people to uh, intimidate you with their drama or threats or whatever. Yeah, good for you, Cappies, absolutely. Wow, <laughs> my grandfather, my two favorite people in my family uh, are Capricorns and uh, I look up to them because they stand up for themselves. They very resilient individuals, yeah. Cappy is very balanced, very grounded, resilient. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappy's. Beautiful. The best card in the whole deck. You're going to be victorious. The sun. Yeah, be careful. Some people around you are sneaky. You see, you see two snakes here, low vibration. This is you seeing very clearly who you can and cannot trust. Who your friends are, who your enemies are. You have some good, solid people with high vibration energy like yours. You see, represented here with the diamond and gemstones. So you don't want to deal with cubic zirconias. You want to deal with diamonds, right? Exactly. This is just a figure of speech, of course. Yeah, I surround myself with positive, high vibration people. Yeah, I don't deal with... I would rather have just one or two friends that I can trust than be surrounded by negative people. Wow. Somebody loves you. Somebody loves you deeply. Yeah, somebody's coming towards you. Wow. Cappies, there's somebody from your past. Another person is showing up here now who has mistreated you, who has taken you for granted and they want to communicate with you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, 
the person that wants to come back towards you uh, feels enormous amount of guilt, shame, regret for losing you. Like they fault themselves for losing you. So there's another person showing up here. Hmm. People view you as solid, grounded, reliable, consistent, mature. You see? Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. So this is the person you're thinking of while watching this video. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Capricorn. And how is this soulmate of Capricorn towards Capis at this time? Let's see, Capis, your soulmate. Wow, this is them wanting to come towards you. This usually means apologies, peace offerings, face-to-face -face communication, you see? This person wants to see you, communicate with you. This means apologies, making amends, making things right. Yeah. Yeah, so once again, they're showing up here from bigger tarot deck now. Just minutes ago, they showed up as Knight of Swords. Now they're showing up with the bigger tarot deck, nice Knight of Swords. So this person, um, I think they mistreated you. Yeah, they were very harsh with you, very judgmental. They said some things that were mean, uh, and they want to correct things. This is them wanting to communicate with you. See you. Yeah. Their uh, main objective is to reconcile with you, to make amends with you, to be on peaceful grounds with you. Judgment. Yeah. Look how stressed out they are about this situation. This is unfinished business to them. Like they feel they can't go on with their life. Oh yeah. This person has been checking up on you. Uh, they scared of your rejection. They're scared you're going to say no to them. They're scared you're going to reject them. Numbers, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Capricorn. And how's the soulmate of Capi Souls Capis at this time? Yeah, you see, they're scared. This is them not knowing what's going on with your life, wanting to know who's in your life, what you're doing. This is them trying to figure out uh, if there's another chapter possibly yeah you see again apologies 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 yeah this person feels they uh, did something and that's why they lost you i don't like this this is deceit showing up here i don't like this mm -mm. this person is so scared of rejection they're trying to figure out how to reach out to you without looking like they need you, like they are emotionally vulnerable. Uh, they may be thinking of plan B, how to reconnect with you, let's say bump into you somewhere or uh, reconnect with you through another person. This person's trying to think of different ways to connect with you because they're scared of your rejection. This person loves you a lot. So maybe they realize how much you mean to them after they lost you. This is them wishing, hoping, praying. Uh, they really don't want you to know that their main objective is to uh, reconcile with you, to stay in your life. they praying, hoping, wishing to be a part of your life again. Wow, they want to correct things. A lot of you are dealing with Aquarius. Aquarius again, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. Sagittarius, you see, apologies, peace offerings, emotional offers of appreciation. Yeah, you see, they feel they betrayed your trust. This was a serious relationship that you were with uh, this person. And yeah, you were in serious relationship with this person. You, you were either married or living with them or engaged to be married, to spend your life with them. This was a very serious relationship. And they feel like, they betrayed your trust, like they disappointed you greatly, like they did something that disappointed you and they lost you as a result of that. You see, unexpected communication, all pages are messengers. See, we have three pages showing up here. And earlier we had the fourth one, page of swords. This person wants to so badly communicate with you. Let's see what's going on here. They're scared that this is it. You're not going to let them back in. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Capis. Yeah, you see? Here's the page of sorts, the fourth page. 
This person is spying on you, checking up on you heavily, curious what's going on. They want to break this silence. There's a lot they want to communicate to you. They were hoping you would reach out to them first, but they know they're going to have to be the ones initiating this communication. Yeah, so this person is aware that they disappointed you greatly. They didn't either make a full commitment, didn't express love, didn't communicate effectively. Whatever they did, they recognized that they didn't act maturely. They didn't put work into this. They didn't meet you halfway. Again, so this person is going to find a way to see you, to communicate with you. Look how much guilt they're feeling. Regret, heartbreak. Yeah. Yeah, they fault themselves for losing you. So I know not all Cappies are dealing with the same situation. This is for those of you Cappies that are dealing with a person who did wrong by you and they admit it to themselves. They want to correct it. Yeah, they want to correct things. They want to uh, make it up to you. Cappies, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the summit connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Cappies, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.